What's up everybody, Jason Moss here. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to embed Google Maps inside of your Investor Care website. Um, just winging this, I haven't really planned it out or anything, uh, just was making some changes to a customer's site and figured this would be a good idea because I don't have a video on it yet. Um, but embedding these maps is very important. Um, it can really help out with your SEO um, and it can really tie um, it, well, it can tell Google that, you know, here's your website and here's your Google My Business. They are married together. They are tied together. can really help create that relevance back and forth, um, help Google understand who you are, where you are, and what you do exactly. So let's hop into it real quick because it's not too difficult at all. As you can see here on our Carrot website, um, this is just like a launch pad just a, a little play site and I have some maps loaded in here. Now I will put this link in the description below, but Carrot does have a tutorial um, on how to use their map embed, okay? Because on a normal website, like a normal WordPress website or even like some other kind of, like maybe a Wix or Squarespace where you're using HTML code, something like that, you're gonna drop in a standard uh, map embed code, okay? With carrot sites, you're not going to do that. You're not gonna drop the embed code. They actually block that um, because of, you know, people can hack stuff with it, with JavaScript, blah, 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 right? So they have their own map embed. Um, where did it go? Right here. And they have a short code built around it, okay? So you're gonna use this short code right here, which is map, Okay, and then they have other ones down here where you can override and use a embed address and I'll show you why in a second, okay? Because he, here's what that does. When you use map, okay, this uses the information on your Carrot website that you have in settings. Okay, so if you're not sure, you should have this set up, but go to your website, go to settings over here on the left-hand side and whatever address you have set up in here, as you can see, um, because this is a test website, I don't have anything set up. I have no address. I just have Wentzville, Missouri in the zip code. So if we go back to our page here, and in this is the page builder, okay, I have this code here, map, all right? So it's not this one up here. It's this one right here. And what did it do? It pulled a map of only Wentzville, Missouri, all right, because that's all that we have in here, okay? We don't have any address in here, all right? Now, let's play around with this a little bit, okay? So if we go back over to our builder, you can see I have a couple of different examples here, okay? So as you can see, I'm using that map address shortcode that they give us, which over here on the tutorial section, we'll look at the map address, and then it says insert address between quotes. Okay, so how do we do that exactly? All right, because it is a special way. You don't actually put the address. You have to put the name of the place first and then the address um, just as Google has it. Okay, so it can be a little particular sometimes. Um, it can be a little funky the way they have it. Okay, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. So, um, if you go to Google, and this is Lucas Oil Stadium, I'll just show you how to do this real quick. Lucas Oil Stadium. This is how we do all of them. Um, search it and then click on maps. You don't wanna do anything with this over here. So click on maps, all right? And once this pulls up, this is what we're gonna do, okay? First, we wanna take note of how they have their own name or their own place of interest listed so it's lucas oil stadium very easy so we just type in lucas oil stadium like that we put a space there and then we do um, the address and the address is right here so a lot of times you can just copy the address by clicking right there and then you can paste it in and boom it's going to do it you hit preview and it's going to pull the map everything is going to work perfectly fine so very very easy you can also on the tutorial if you keep scrolling down you can change the zoom level so sometimes people's maps are really really zoomed out for some reason or maybe you, you want it zoomed out or you want it zoomed in you can add a parameter here 
which is zoom equals and then the number and it's going to change it so we can do that right here um, so it'll be within the quotes I believe where did it go oh no it's outside of the quotes okay so we'll do zoom equals let's do five so zoom equals five we'll hit preview and it's going to relaunch the website uh, do the preview and you can see that that zoom 5 was actually zoomed out quite a bit so now it's it's way back here so you can play with that if you want or you can leave it stock um, you can even zoom back in let's go back to 8 um, actually I don't know if it was on 8 before or not I don't know what the default is um, but if we relaunch that here you can see it zoomed in a little bit more so you can play with that as you see fit or just remove that zoom parameter and leave that out of there okay um, so this works great the map to uh, the map embeds work great um, a couple things here real quick if you have and most of you do not okay but if you have a service area business it's gonna be a little bit different so what does that mean okay here's what that means even if you have your settings set up with your address okay if you have a service area business that means you are hiding your address on Google alright so this is an example here best roofing and exteriors okay as you can see they do not have an address listed here okay no address most people have an address shown like Lucas Oil Stadium there's their address right there okay this one here does not have an address so even if they have their address correct in the you know inside their settings when you do the map okay it's just gonna pull the address it's not gonna pull your actual GMB and that is what you want you want your actual GMB being pulled not just your address okay if that makes sense when it pulls your actual GMB you'll it'll look like this it'll say your name um, it'll have your reviews there it'll have your directions which well actually it won't have your directions because if it's a service area business you are blocking that okay um, so how do we fix that well the only way to do it is you actually have to contact Google <laughs> excuse me you have to contact carrot um, you have to hit the chat here and you have to tell them that you want a embed code added to a certain page and where you want it and that is where you actually go to here okay and let's click on maps because once you pull up your business in your service area business you're gonna click on maps and if you want your actual GMB embedded and that's why they have this large um, square or not square but this large service area selected here this is the service area that they set inside their Google my business okay so their map will look very similar to this all right so you have to go here you have to hit share and then embed map and grab this embed code so this is where if you had a normal website a normal WordPress website this is exactly what you would do all right but carrot blocks that okay um, so we're gonna copy that HTML we'll go back to our carrot site and remember we're just gonna chat with carrot we just hit here and say hey I have a service area business and I need my Google map embedded on my website they're gonna ask what page where do you want it that type of thing um, it's very very simple so that's only probably for maybe five percent of you um, almost everybody that I work with or that I've seen uh, real estate investors you all have your address showing so that's not really an issue at all but if it is all you do is chat with them very very simple so hopefully that is helpful on how to embed those Google Maps into your carrot website uh, remember you can embed these on a blog post you can embed them on pages you can even drop them in like the footer of your website if you want um, which is like the widgets or even in the sidebar uh, which is in widgets as well um, so that's really up to you you can stick them wherever you like um, but try to get a Google map on your website uh, for your business um, because like I said that really does help your SEO it helps Google understand that 
this website here is tied to this Google My Business and it like marries them together, all right? Creates a lot of relevance, okay? Um, but yeah, if you guys have questions, let me know. I'm all ears. I'm happy to help with any type of thing with Carrot. If you are not in our Facebook group yet, please join. We are at over 500 uh, members at this point and growing every single day. Um, so there's a link in the description below. If you have an investor carrot site, jump in that Facebook group, ask questions. Uh, we're answering things all day, every day. But uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.